Nathan, thank you. It is 16 after 9 right now. Opening day just a few weeks yeah. away, but we, they are opening up already at the uh, Cincinnati uh, Reds Hall of Fame and Museum. New exhibit. Yeah, good, exciting stuff yeah. happening there. Our Jordan Reliance is live there with a look at some of the women who have made some great strides in baseball. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, guys. Yeah, we're here at the Reds Hall of Fame. And, you know, typically when we think of the baseball icons, we think of Babe Ruth. We don't think about women in baseball. I know that hopefully all of us have seen League of Their Own, a classic movie that talks about women in baseball. But you know what? When I was walking in here with my photographer, he said, is that story really true? And I gave my honest answer, which is, I really don't know. Thankfully, we got a chance to walk in here and talk with Rick, who was able to confirm that it is indeed true, Rick. And that's really what, uh, I mean, the detail of history of women in baseball, the history behind it. Yeah. I mean, it, it actually goes back so much further than even when A League of Their Own was set. Yeah, I think most people think the movie, that's the whole story, but really women playing baseball goes back into the 1850s and 1860s. There were even women baseball teams in Cincinnati, one called the Cincinnati Reds in the 1890s. So the Bloomer girls came along afterwards. They were traveling baseball teams, and it really was something. Softball kind of evolved from that, okay. and then baseball and softball kind of kind of took over and then there was this thing that women should play softball and yeah. I think that's what we're trying to show here that women can play baseball right 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 and I mean there's a lot of proof there's a lot of things to see I mean this is all done this is a passion project if you will all done with such I mean, seriously, such dedication and such love behind it when people can come down here and check it out. Yeah, there's over 200 artifacts, jerseys, folk art, contracts, photographs, but wonderful inspirational stories about trailblazers and pioneers yeah. who have really paving the way for more women to make a greater impact on the sport, whether it's working in the profession as a writer, maybe being a coach on the field or a trainer or an executive in the front office. Today, 35% of front office employees are female. So things are changing, and I think this exhibit is something you want to come check out because anything is possible. Absolutely. And I want to point out, too, that you said that uh, you guys had two women, basically, who were putting this, who were kind of heading up the, the design elements of this. Yeah, Sarah Green and Kaylin Schulte from the Reds Creative Service Department played a big role in this, as they always do when all of our exhibits take place. But we thought that was important. And as we learn this exhibit, as everybody learns the history here, the unknowns, that's what we're about at the museum, is exploring Reds history, baseball history, and its impact on society. And baseball is is universal. It's the language we all speak and we all love the game. Yeah. So having more people involved, it's better for everything. I love that. And yes, you've got to come down here. You've got to check out the Hall of Fame, the women in baseball here at the Reds Hall of Fame. You've got to check it out. It opens today. There is so much to see. For now, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Thank you, Jordan. Can't wait for it.